All right, guys, so today we're here to talk about the Ashes of Creation classes. Can I be your superhero? Superhero. Hey, guys, if you love this content, please help this channel blow up. Hit that subscribe button. Promote these videos by hitting the like. Smash that like. Leave a comment. And thank you so much, guys. All right, let's get right into it. So... Ashes of Creation classes. This is insane, man. We have eight archetypes. Tanks are the control and damage mitigation of the game. The clerics are the healers. Mages are the long range elemental and AoE damage dealers. The rangers are the long range bow specialists. The fighters are the melee combat specialists. The rogues are actually skill and environmental based DPS that does horrifying amounts of damage as well as uh, finding secret like bonus dungeon treasures and locating traps and hidden doors for their teammates. They are indispensable uh, in, in a dungeon. Amazing class. The summoners are a pet class that summons and actually plays through their summons, which is extremely cool. Lastly, we have the bards, which are buff bots. Luckily, they're uh, more engaging and more active and more fun than the passive garbage buff bots of bard past. <laughs> All right, so your class is the combination of a primary and a secondary archetype. This makes a total of 64 potential classes. Now, what that means is uh, you take one of the eight classes as your primary and you take one of the eight classes as your secondary you can actually double them up so you can be like a tank tank or a rogue rogue or you can go a tank rogue or a rogue tank or any combination that you can possibly think of there are 64 total class combinations each div you know being their own individual specific class all of them extremely balanced all of them very specifically designed to do a certain thing really, really well. Thus, bringing this game into a system that is very, very rock, paper, scissors. One class will absolutely destroy another class, but be completely vulnerable to a different class. Like, no, there is no best class in the game. There is no class that is going to completely destroy all other classes. It is very much of a rock, paper, scissors situation. The game is very heavily dependent on counterplay and creating an inter an interdependency uh, between all the different classes so that they have to work together if they want to really truly achieve greatness. Now you can fine tune your class based on the secondary that you take. Once you pick your primary archetype, you are stuck with that forever and the only way you'll ever be, get to experience another primary archetype is, well, if you make an alt. You only need to make eight alts in this game, which is very interesting to note because you can never change your primary archetype. So you're going to want to make one of each of the different eight. You can, however, change your secondary archetype whenever you want. Not in the field. You have to go back to a major city. So it's not like you can just do it on the fly, but you are completely able to explore any of the secondary classes for your primary that you choose. So once you pick the tank, you will be able to experience every different version and variant of that tank that you could ever want. So really truly, you only need to make eight alts in the game, which is really, really super cool to be honest. All right, now the secondary archetype is actually a fascinating system. The secondary archetype is chosen at level 25. And when you choose this archetype, you're basically modifying, you're not gaining more skills. But what you're doing is you're gaining the ability to modify your existing skills. So once you choose your primary archetype, the tank, for example, uh, you will, that's all that's the skills that you have. You'll never be able to get more skills by adding a secondary archetype to that. However, the secondary archetype completely redesigns the way his, the skills work. It can add uh, additional effects and you know tweak what the skill itself does rounding out your character and giving you a whole different set of uh, abilities. For example, choosing a bard as a secondary is going to change rogue abilities completely differently than say it would to summoner abilities. So 
the diversity between classes is vast and wide sweeping. The, the sheer number of abilities that you can have is just mind blowing. Like it, it really is just an impossible, impossible number. So it'll be fascinating to see how long it takes to really uh, be able to work your way through learning all of these different classes once we have the chance. There's just so much content. It'll be an absolute treat when we get to do videos on those specifically to really break down what these different classes can do. All right, every secondary archetype has four different schools of augmentation that will modify your skills in different ways, such as teleportation or elemental. When you consider that there are eight classes with four schools of augmentation each, and all of these augments change the skills of the eight primary classes different, the sheer vastness of skill modification options will break your brain. <laughs> now, in addition, not all augments are created equal. Your augment has a different skill point requirement for each skill, and you have to be very picky with how you build and apply these with your limited skill points when designing your build, because you only get a limited amount and you get these skill points by leveling up. So you're gonna, you know, the different builds that you're gonna be seeing people use are just, you know, it's, it's impossible to, to say how many different metas are going to, to take hold once players get a hold of this and figure out which is the best for each of these different classes and each of these subclasses and all these different builds. Oh man, it's gonna be just absolutely amazing. The level of customization and depth and a discovery is going to just be the greatest thing ever. It's one of the things I am most excited about is discovering the powers that are locked within these limited trees. Because you're gonna have to choose whether you want to delve wide and grab a bunch of different skills, or if you want to go and penetrate really, really deep to the bottom of the skill tree and grab those really expensive ones that can be class defining, the choice is really up to you. And that is where the most exciting gameplays really come. All right, so your race will determine your base stats for these classes. Your primary will grow the stats and the secondary actually does nothing uh, in regards to stats. It is entirely just for augmenting the primary abilities to change them and modify them to your whims. And lastly, this one is super, super cool. I really say this one for last because this is just so innovative and fun. And that is when you create a group, if you group eight of the same glass, if you group eight of the same classes together in one party, it'll actually give the players the ability to create insanely powerful versions of their class abilities in sieges, such as the tank ability to create a wall turns into the ability to create a giant, massive, great wall across the entire battlefield, just sweeping grandiose abilities that can only be done by grouping eight of the same class together in a single group in order to unlock these powers. So the classes in Ash's creation are just amazing. There is so much depth. Uh, there are so many different options, uh, so many different play styles that people are going to gravitate toward and master. And really truly, you're going to want to create one of every single class so that you have all eight classes to explore and appreciate and have fun with. It is going to be quite a ride, guys, and everyone has a huge, huge road ahead of them when it comes to the class system. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love this subject. I love the classes. I Oh man, I'm, I can't wait to deliver you guys all kinds of amazing videos covering everything. 
Uh, I think races are, are another one of the things that I'm really, really interested in covering. I'm just holding off until we know more so that I can give you guys the best of the best in information about these different races. All right, guys, like I said before, if you like this video, if you like our videos, please promote our stuff by smashing that like button and leaving a comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah! <laughs>